Now, for today, we are going to write positive messages to ourselves. And you can do this in your sketchbook. I'm using a note card. You could take a piece of copy paper and fold it in half. It's entirely your choice. But I felt like, because remember, see, today was supposed to be the first day that we were back in school with one another, and then they extended it, and now they've extended it again for your safety. We want for everybody to be safe. And I've heard so many things from students, and I see what y'all post as far as how you're feeling in the surveys, that we're going to write positive messages to ourselves. This is great for those of you that really like calligraphy or like to do bubble words or letters like that. I, this message is made for you. Uh, I mean, this assignment is made for you. If you don't like your handwriting, you can do this on the computer. I had a student do it on the PowerPoint slide. You can do it in a Word document. You can type the font, the words, whatever you would like, right? But I just hand draw mine. So when all of this started with the quarantine and everything, um, I needed something positive to do for myself, but I also needed a way to just create art. I don't have a lot of time in the day. Um, I'm just focusing so much on y'all that I needed something that was fast. So I started to do these in my sketchbook. And I've just recently started it and it makes a huge difference. I pick a word of the day something positive. And I do mine at the end of the day because it, whatever it is, it's that theme for the day. So, and this is just a little sketchbook. You can see the size of the paper. And so for this day, my word was heard. It is very hard for y'all, but it's also hard for me too to be teaching virtually. My question is always, am I being heard? Can students hear me? Especially students that don't have um, their their cameras on. Some students don't have them on because it slows down their devices or they don't have the access. But then if they don't type in the chat too, I always wonder, am I being heard? Are they learning? Right? So that's a, that was a positive message to myself that I am in fact heard. Clean. All the organization and cleaning and everything that we're having to go through in order to stay safe. Right? This is to remind me that we are safe perseverance, not to give up, staying secure. See how there's this theme? Setting limits so that I can say no and I don't overextend myself. Trusting myself. Overflow. This is to remind me not, it, it's the same thing as setting those limits, not to do too much. And making sure that I believe and I, and I um, agree with my instincts. I'm prepared. Make my, I've been making my colors brighter. See, look, if you look, this collage that I made, the, the colors are kind of dark, right? So this was, this is the one that I did after that to remind myself to make brighter images, to be prepared, which I always am, prioritize, to feel lighter. So you see how I've picked up these words and I've made like these images, just as a little positive message to myself. Now you can do a word if you would like, or you can do a phrase. Like you could do something like, my, one of my favorites is in a world where you can be anything, be kind. I love that, right? These are the ones I've made today. I did create and I did hope. These are the messages I had for myself. So your task is to take your paper and to think of either that one word or a phrase that is a positive message to you. And then I'm going to use a pencil and I'm going to write it out in my, um, on my paper. Okay. So go ahead and do that. I'm writing it in pencil and I'm going to tell you, I don't really like my handwriting. My mom always talked to me about how messy it was and the thing is she's right so I it sounds crazy but when I'm doing stuff like this I don't actually write the word I draw the word that's the only way I can write it nice and neat I'm going to use the word free 
and I wrote it really small and up in the right, uh, the right hand corner. It might look like it's left on yours, but I'm gonna do that so that it looks like it's floating, so that it is in fact free. But if you could, if you wanted, just write the word big. Okay? You could decorate this and take a magazine and cut out the letters. There's no wrong answer here. Just as long as you give yourself a positive word or phrase. So does anybody want to share their word? That is lovely. Can I share that, JC? You can just do a thumbs up if I can share it. Perfect. Live, life, live, laugh, love. I like that. Live, laugh, love. Let's see. Does anybody else want to share theirs? It is okay. Mm. I might do another one that says the exact same thing. Loved. That is great. These are great. Does anybody want to type in the chat their word or phrase? Mm. That's a good one, Jacob. Happy. Mm -hmm. That has a lot of... If I was going to do happy, I'd do a lot of bright, bright colors. Mm -hmm. So, now, let's look at what we're going to do with this using whatever art material you want. Now, I'm gonna use my markers because I draw faster with markers. So that, ooh, dream is perfect. I'm doing, staying happy, beautiful. I love these words. I might have to make more than one card today. I love it. So, I'm going to give you, now some of you, oh, yes, Paul Joe. I would love to see it, yes. Okay, so I wrote be safe. A, a picture of a COVID spec and the and a circle with a dash right there. Nice. I like that, Paul Joe. And then a color it in. Yes. That is what we're gonna um that's what we're gonna do next. You are ahead of the game. Oil pastels is a great material for this, JC. And Caitlin, I, I love your message that you've done there too. So for this one, I'm gonna start decorating the background. Now we're gonna do something called automatic drawings. Automatic drawings is when you just draw and create in the moment. Oh, Arabella, that's a good one too. I really think that I, oh, look how pretty that one is. Y'all are, y'all don't even need my help. Look at these, these are amazing. I love how she's holding it like a banner, Nyla. But I'm gonna give you five minutes. And in those five minutes, some of you will take less time and some of you will take more. Nyla, that's amazing. I don't know if you would even add color to the background for that one. And just fill in your color for your background. Um, if, cause I see several of you that have used color for your words. You can switch to a different material if you want, or you can just keep doing positive images um, in your um, color with your white background. I think that would look lovely. So I'm taking mine and I'm doing this kind of curved line because when I think of something that is free, it's kind of almost like it's floating, you know, it's flying. I've got nice calming colors and like I said some of you are gonna take longer than the five minutes to do your color in the background and some of you will take less and that's okay there's no wrong technique or way to do this other than to not do it of course so I'm just gonna keep up with this curved line so I really like the way that it makes us feel like free. I'm going to take, now for this one, I'm gonna use not the wide chisel tip. I'm gonna use the pointing so that I, I can get like that kind of line variety. And I like the space up here. 
normally I'd be like, mm, I don't know if I, if I want to fill that in, but I like that space and how um, it's open and just free there. I might add another, just a hint of gray, not to make it look sad, but just to have a little bit more depth in the colors just to make them a little bit deeper. And I love to do automatic drawings because they really have you focus on what you were creating at that moment. You don't overthink it. Everybody, anybody ever overthink a drawing so much that you never finish it because you're just so focused on the final piece that you forget to focus on what you're drawing? Yeah, I do that too. Um, in fact, I do it so much that most of the time I only give myself one, like a set time frame to finish something. I have to begin, start and finish it in one sitting. Otherwise I won't get to it. I won't ever finish it. Mm -hmm. I see so many people are saying, yes, yes, that's me. That's me. Now see, this has only been three minutes, but I'm going to tell you, I feel like this background is done. I might add a little bit of a white gel pen. If you ever get a pen, a ballpoint pen, and it's a little clumped, if you draw like little circles or swirls, it kind of cleans that area up. And I'm not gonna do too many of the whites because I don't want for it to distract. Now, it's okay if you're finished. It's also okay if you're still working because there's no wrong answer here. For my free, my word, which is going to be your next step. And I'm going to go ahead and do the next step, even though you still have a minute left. I'm going to use a whiteout pen. Here we go. And I'm going to do my word in whites so that it stands out. Miss Cree? Yes. Oh, not personally, but I, I do love some Bob Ross. Yes. Look at my shirt. Oh, I love your shirt. Can you see the words? I know. Ever make mistakes in life? I don't see the last of it. Make them, um, then yeah, they're birds. <laughs> I love that shirt. That's awesome. Nyla, you... you I'm done. Yes. I'm done. So you just want it to be black and white? Yeah. You don't want to add any more color to it? No. All right. Then that, I mean, it's beautiful. I really, um, you're going to send a picture of that to me. Okay? That's great. Okay. So, now mine, if you can see, do you see how I wrote that free there, but it doesn't really stand out very well? So, I'm going to give you two more, two more minutes. To now do the words. So on this one, notice I made the words small. And that's fine. On this one, after I colored my background, I outlined my words. And then I colored my background in so that my words were the pattern or the color that I did. So that they would stand out. And then on this one, I did the opposite. I kept my backgrounds, but then I filled in my, my words. It's however you want. There's no wrong answer. So I'm going to give you two minutes to do that. Now, for some of you, that's too long. And for others, you're going to need longer than two minutes. And that's okay. I'm only setting that time frame um, just so that we can continue to work together as a group. And just to kind of keep you on a schedule. But remember, these are not due until Monday. So you will receive a link to this assignment tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock where you will attach a photo of your work. Now remember you have till Monday. Some students have already sent me like two or more. But you, right, you only have to do one. 
So I really wanted that white to stand out and the word to stand out. So I took it and when it was dry, I outlined it with a ballpoint pen and now it really, really stands out. Remember, this is a positive message for you. And I am going to do something special with these once y'all submit them to me. Miss Fuller and I are. Okay. So, let's see. There we go. There. And that is my design in my picture.